Unveiling the beauty of language. Coming into bloom. Hello, language enthusiasts. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into a beautiful and vivid phrase used in English, coming into bloom. This phrase is not just about flowers. It's a gateway to understanding English's rich figurative language. Let's explore together what it means and how you can use it to enhance your English. Coming into bloom primarily refers to the process of flowers opening up and displaying their petals. It's that magical time in a garden or a field when buds turn into blossoms. This phase marks the transformation from potential to actual beauty. It's a natural, gradual process, observed especially in spring, symbolizing new life and growth. In a figurative sense, coming into bloom is used to describe anything that is reaching its full potential or coming of age. This could be a person's skills, a project, or even a relationship. For example, when a student's hard work starts showing results, we can say their efforts are coming into bloom. This metaphorical use adds depth and imagery to our language, making conversations more vivid and expressive. Let's see how coming into bloom can be used in different contexts. 1. Nature. After the long winter, the cherry trees are finally coming into bloom. 2. Personal growth. After years of practice, her musical talent is coming into bloom. 3. Projects or businesses. The new marketing strategy is coming into bloom, with increased sales and customer engagement. These examples show the versatility of the phrase in various scenarios. Interestingly, coming into bloom is a favorite among poets and authors. It's often used to evoke emotions of hope, renewal, and transformation. In paintings, a blooming landscape can represent a new beginning or the beauty of change. This artistic use underscores the phrase's power to convey deeper meanings and evoke emotional responses. I hope this exploration of coming into bloom adds a new shade to your English vocabulary palette. Remember, language is not just about words. It's about the pictures and feelings those words can create. Keep practicing, and soon, your language skills will be coming into bloom too. Thanks for joining, and see you in our next video.